When you understand how severe hell is, you'll be much more appreciative of your own salvation from what you were saved from. See, a lot of Christians today believe in a teaching called universalism or annihilationism. Annihilationism is a teaching that says you simply cease to exist if you deny Jesus. But that's not true. Jesus said in Matthew 25, 46, these shall go in everlasting life and these shall go in everlasting punishment. He used the word everlasting as the word ionios. So just as heaven is everlasting, so is hell everlasting. It says the same thing in John 5, 29, Mark 16, 16, Daniel 12, 2, Acts 24, 15, Matthew 13, 30. All these places point out that hell is eternal and you'll thank God you were saved from this horrible place. Number two, it causes us as Christians to walk more in the fear of the Lord. Now, you know, a lot of Christians live compromised lifestyles today. They live in sin, backslidden. You hear guys living with a girlfriend, sleeping with a girlfriend, cheating on their taxes, all kinds of things that people do as Christians because they have a lack of the fear of the Lord. You know, and the fear of the Lord is simply, Deuteronomy 6 and Deuteronomy 17 said, the fear of the Lord is to read his word and to obey his word. See, and you have enough respect for Almighty God that you will obey him. And when you have the fear of the Lord, you understand there's consequences for your actions, but also that we serve a loving God that gave so much for us that you don't want to offend him. You want to show respect by obeying his word. So when you understand how severe hell is, you know, Proverbs 16, 6 says, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. And so when you understand how the severity of hell, you will not want to play around with sin. Jesus said in Mark 9, 47, if your eye offends thee, the word offend means causes you to sin, he said, pluck it out. It's better for you to enter into life maimed than into hell fire. So he's telling you if you're playing around with a sinful lifestyle, you're in danger of hell fire. So understanding hell will cause you to walk that straight walk and not compromise. And number three, it will give us as Christians more of a passion for the lost, a desire to want to witness. You know, it's not just for the pastors to witness. It's every one of us are called to preach the gospel. And part of the preaching is for us to be in a good example to the world, to work with excellence, to show up on time, to keep our word to our own hurt, to show love to people that are ugly to us and so forth, but also to preach the gospel. That's what we're called to do. But see, when you see how severe hell is, you will think, man, I didn't know it was that bad. I don't want my family or friends going there. And you'll take more of an effort. See, and I'm not talking about chase people down on the road and beat them over the head with the Bible. I'm talking about each day as you get up, you say, Lord, use me today. Put me in front of somebody today. Lord, use me. I'm available. Because it's a privilege for us to share the gospel. He's entrusted us with the word. You know, in 2 Corinthians 5, 10, and 11, Paul said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Now, even though that scripture is talking about the reward seat for Christians, but the commentaries all say that he was also talking about judgment and hell in general. So when you understand judgment and hell in general, you will be more persuasive with men. You'll pray for the, your family. You'll fast for them. You'll do something more and above what you normally would do when you see the severity of hell. Okay? That's why it's important for us as Christians to know about hell.